Or the turbo is a CX Racing GT 3576 or something, 7068. Uh, ceramic bearing on front side. I kind of greased it and lubed it up while I was like just keeping it in storage. And uh, I will take the compressor housing off and attempt to like pour it a little bit and clean it out. Uh, backside, I was going to pour the backside and stuff too. It's actually a pretty nice turbo. It's like 500 bucks. I don't really want to trash it, but I do think I can at least polish both sides. Uh, and like I said, eBay, wall valve, and wastegate. I got a valve cover gasket. Exhaust manifold gaskets. Rear main. My oil fittings and restrictors and I got intercooler piping. And I thought this was important too. I got the BC valve springs and keepers. I did this because the engine has like a lot of miles on it to be trusting some old springs under boost. And then uh, I have my air to water intercooler tank. Everybody might say this is a little heavy, but the cars and are a little big, but the cars in IS300 and even like naturally aspirated right now, it's hard to handle because there's just not a lot of weight over the rear wheels. So I figured I would try to run this big tank for my air to water setup with this pump and some 10 AN lines and stuff like that and see where it got me and see if it would stabilize the car a little bit on the rear end without having to do too much. But the pump, it's a CX Racing oil pump, I guess, but it should flow pretty well with what I was going to run in the tank, which should be a windshield washer fluid and a dry ice, a couple of chunks of dry ice and some, some normal ice. And then a thousand cc eBay injectors. I know it's eBay, whatever, but I mean, I'm not a made man, I can't afford too much. <laughs> the supply, oil supply line, fuel pressure regulator, fuel pump is like, uh, the fuel pump matches the regulator kinda, it's an AEM intake, I kinda have a modded uh, IS300 hanger set up. And uh, I think really all I need is V-bands. I wanted to get Wise Co piston rings and not just stock GTE piston rings. But th these are GTE pistons. And I have a GTE Tomei head gasket. I figured that should lower compression pretty decently, but still be higher than a normal GTE build. Uh, no throttle body I was going to run the stock one I just I got this really just to make inner cooler piping a little easier and then uh, I don't I mean I was going to break in and I figured after I get it all together I'll probably break in for maybe a thousand miles or so and just let it idle for a few hours and then try and drive it slowly because I mean shit tends to like pop and then uh, as I was like trying to say in the CX Racing Connecting Rod video, I guess I'll extend that a little bit now that I like have pistons on it and I could look at it. These these bolts are like knockoff ARPs, but these rods look exactly like the Eagles. And uh, I, would, I would they were advertised for like 700 horse. I would say that this would easily be like an 800 or 900 horse rod if it had actual ARP bolts in it. And I, like, I have my oiling rings on. I do have a GTE piston ring and piston kit. My skirts are getting a little scratchy.